Hi guys, Sebas here with a quick tutorial on how to use Guitar Pro with PSTs. So let's begin. We need to install the software called Loop MIDI by Tobias Ericsson. After you download and install Loop MIDI, we proceed to open up the software. This is the window that will appear. We need to create now the ports that we are going to use. I'm gonna name one guitar, the other one bass, drums, and metronome. We open up Guitar Pro. Here, we assign the MIDI outputs to the one that we just created. So I'm gonna assign the port 1 to guitars, port 2 to bass, number 3 to drums, and the last one to the metronome. Let's change the tracks to MIDI. And now we can assign each track to each port. So here in the track section under the MIDI settings we have the drums to the drum sport, the bass to the bass port, the metronome and the guitars. Let's open up our DAW. So I'm using Ableton. And here I have a template that I created for Guitar Pro. Finally, we assign the MIDI inputs. So for the drums, we are going to use the drums that we created previously. For the bass, the bass, and for the metronome, the metronome. And that's it guys, now we just play the song on the Guitar Pro and check if it is going through our DAW. So I can hear the metronome and here, here is the information. A quick recommendation is that set the offset here I'm setting it to minus 5 but you have to try on your PC with different numbers to see which one works best for you this is for sync between Guitar Pro and Ableton in this case the advantages of this is that you can use uh, the features of Guitar Pro as a progressive speed but with more realistic sound so it's more enjoyable to play guitar and I discovered this today after watching a Ola Inglund video on Guitar Pro uh, the comment was from I'm gonna put it on the screen but thank you very much for uh, this advice hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you later